Okay, so let's go in and use Heaviside functions to find the Laplace transform of this piecewise defined function. And if you look at this problem, it like, kind of looks familiar. It kind of looks like a chapter or section 5.1 problem, and that's because it is. You could actually use the integral definition of the Laplace transform to find a Laplace transform of this function. But again, we want to build some new tools, and this time around we're going to use Heaviside functions to do this instead. So the first step, of course, is to take it from a piecewise format and rewrite it using interval functions. So that is going to be our f of t is equal to 4 times the interval function from 0 to 3 of t plus t squared times the heavy side function at 3. The next step, of course, is to take these interval functions and rewrite them as differences of heavy side functions. So that's going to be h of t minus 0, which is really just h of t. And it's going to be then minus h t minus 3. And then we have a t squared times h t minus 3. And when we first multiply and distribute this out, you will notice that the first two terms, we could actually take their Laplace transform now if we wanted to. We're going to wait till later, though, just to do that. And then back here, we cannot take the Laplace transform of t squared ht of 3 because we don't have matching t's. One is t minus 0, or just plain t. The other is t minus 3. So what we're going to do is a very clever expansion trick. We're going to take that t, and we're going to go in and subtract 3 and add 3 to it. And we're still, of course, going to take that t and square it and multiply by ht minus 3. The next thing we're going to do is going to be another clever little thing. We're going to go in and keep the t minus 3 intact and the 3 intact and treat those as two separate terms. And now if you actually take the sum of two terms and you square it from algebra, that makes a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So we're going to do the same thing with this term here. So we're going to go back, rewrite it as f of t is equal to 4h of t minus 4ht minus 3. And then we're going to square this out. And we square it out. We're going to have a t minus 3 squared plus 2 times the a, which is t minus 3, times the b, which is 3, and then plus b squared, which is going to be 3 squared. And again, that is all multiplied times the heavy side at t minus 3. All right, so continuing along, we're going to go in now and start multiplying this out. So we're going to have 4 times ht minus 3. And then we're going to distribute that ht minus 3 back here to all three of those terms in the parentheses. So we're going to have t minus 3 squared times that ht minus 3. And then that 2 and 3 multiply to make 6 times the t minus 3, h, t minus 3. And then that 3 squared, of course, is 9 times h, t minus 3. At this point in the problem, you can either combine like terms if you wanted to, or you could go ahead and take Laplace transforms. We might as well go ahead and combine the two like terms that we see, which is the 4, h, t minus 3, and the 9, h, t minus 3. So one more step. We're going to have 4 times h of t. And then that minus 4 and that plus 9 get together to make plus 5 h t minus 3. And then we still have our t minus 3 squared h t minus 3 plus 6 t minus 3 h t minus 3. And now we can go ahead and take our Laplace transform. And again, that's a function of s. First term, taking the Laplace transform, well, that's just 4 over s. 
The next one is going to be 5 e to the negative 3 s over s. The next term, we're going to have an e to the negative 3s from the heavy side times the Laplace transform of t squared, which is 2 over s cubed. And then back here, finally, we're going to have our coefficient 6. And then we're going to have our e to the negative 3s from the heavy side. And then the Laplace transform of t, of course, is 1 over s squared. And then those terms there make up the Laplace transform of that function f. And again, you could actually check your work by using the integral definition up here. But again, that's a lot of work.